Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, bon dia a todos. We are very pleased to be here in this beautiful city of Rio de Janeiro as we prepare for Rio Plus 20, which will take place here in just under seven months. This is, after all, where the ideas for sustainable development coalesced into Agenda 21, the blueprint for moving forward that is, a, that is as valid today as it was when it was adopted in 1992 at the United Nations Conference on Environment and Development, the Earth Summit. The Rio Plus 20 provides us with an important opportunity for the international community to reflect upon the progress made during the last 20 years and also during the last 10 years since the Rio Plus 10, the World Summit on Sustainable Development in Johannesburg. I was one of the bureau members of that World Summit on Sustainable Development and I found it so difficult, challenging, but important that the international community come to a consensus on sustainable development. Rio Plus 20 is indeed a critically, critically important opportunity for everyone, for individuals to businesses to governments to discuss the challenges we face and the solutions we can pursue together. Chances like this do not come along very often. When you come to think of it, uh, Rio Plus 40 will come in 20 years' time, and I'm afraid that I've, uh, I will be long gone by then. Rio Plus 20 is much more than a conference where governments will negotiate issues and come up with the outcome document that are obscure to most people. Rio Plus 20 offers us the possibility to raise the discussions on sustainability to a new level. And rather than measuring success by an outcome document, the more important indicator of success will be the level of commitment, initiatives, and action in the direction of sustainable development. Preparations for the Rio Plus 20 are now moving into a new phase. The Secretariat has received 646 submissions of inputs to the compilation text from governments, the UN system, and major groups, including NGOs and a lot of civil society. At the next intersessional meeting in mid-December, in just about two weeks' time, member states will provide their views on the structure, format, and content of the outcome document taking into consideration the rich submissions that have been received. Starting in January next year, Member States will meet one week every month, one week a month every month, in New York to negotiate the conference document. The Rio Plus 20 conference has one primary objective to renew political commitments for sustainable development. With seven billion people now on Earth, we must start showing progress and the discussions on how to do, how to do that uh, have focused on the conference two themes. Transitioning to the green economy in the context of poverty reduction and sustainable development, and secondly, the institutional framework for sustainable development. 
Negotiations on the official documents are not the only type of uh, outcomes that are envisioned. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon has said that Rio Plus 20 is a call to action. In addition to his new initiative on sustainable energy for all, he has called for other initiatives to come out of Rio on a broad range of issues, including access to clean water, promoting sustainable agriculture, building resilient and sustainable cities, restoring our oceans to health, to and creating green, green jobs in a green economy. Last week in New York, as you saw right now in the video, we launched the United Nations campaign for this conference, Rio Plus 20, the future we want, or Futuro Que Queremos. This campaign recognizes that one of the biggest hurdles we face is simply that most people do not understand what sustainable development is all about. Indeed, there is a definition. A definition tells that sustainable development means that we maintain our use of uh, resources uh, in such a way as not to uh, harmonize or, or, or uh, damage the, uh, uh, the resource uh, availability and ability of future generations, our children and grandchildren, to enjoy the same uh, resources. But what does it mean? Uh, the sustainable development has been used so often for so many things. Sustainable, we talk about sustainable cities, uh, sustainable agriculture, sustainable family, sustainable marriage, uh, sustainable pension, sustainable insurance scheme, everything is now used with the adjective sustainable. So the people's understanding of sustainable development has been blurred. We must come up with more concrete targets and goals which can be measured by uh, our children and grandchildren for how much we have made progress uh, in this conference. We need to show now more than ever that it is possible to have development that generate prosperity for everyone, for our children and for our grandchildren, and an improved quality of life while protecting our natural environment. This conference has got to address, of course, growing inequality between rich and poor people, and unemployment, which are major concerns of the young people in the world. In Paris, in London, in Madrid, in Israel, in New York, Everywhere you see the revolt of young people. They are concerned about this growing inequality of wealth between rich and poor and the unemployment. We would also have got to address the issues like climate change. Climate change was the major achievement in Rio, Plus, uh, in, Rio in 1992 with the agreement on the Framework Convention on Climate Change. They agreed to stop the growing level of greenhouse gases or CO2s by the end of the century, by 2000. I was one of the negotiators in Kyoto. Kyoto was the conference to agree on a protocol under that convention to reduce the emissions of CO2 and greenhouse gases to stop global warming, to stop climate change. 
Ever since, how many years have passed? 20 years from Rio and 14 years from Kyoto. And still, last year, we saw the record level of greenhouse gases. So countries have agreed, but they haven't come up with the actions to implement their agreement. Look at countries, many developed countries. They are not uh, serious about their commitments. They are relaxed uh, that uh, we will be able to live on while we know the consequences of climate change happening everywhere, in Thailand, in Pakistan, in Japan, everywhere. Uh, people are suffering from the consequences of climate change. Of course, this Rio Plus 20 has got to address climate change. Rio Plus 20 has got to address water. How many people do not have access to clean water? It is uh, indeed uh, terrible to think that more than one billion people do not have access to clean water and more than two billion people. How many billion people do we have? Seven billion right now. Out of seven, one, out of seven, one uh, does not have access to clean water, and two, does not have access to uh, uh, good sanitation toilets, that means. And we have got to address this water and sanitation. Energy, food, agriculture, cities, health, water, uh, and of course indigenous people too. The rights of indigenous people will be surely the part of the negotiations and agreements to be made in Rio Plus 20. Rio Plus 20 is the time to act. Our challenges are great. The results of inaction will be too severe and too costly. The cost of inaction will be greater than the cost of action. We are responding by making comprehensive Sustainable Development, the United Nations' top priority. Next year's Rio Plus 20 is our chance to define a path to the future we want, or futuro que queremos. In closing, I would like to extend our sincerest gratitudes and appreciation of the United Nations in particular, our department, Department of Public Information, to Sheila Pimentel, president of the Instituto Humanitar, for her generous, very generous hosting of this important conference and meeting of our information directors from around the world. Thanks to her motivation and commitment and generous support to us, we are able to spend today and tomorrow together brainstorming on how we communicators can have the greatest impact on our global audience to further the ideals of the United Nations and in so doing, of course, contribute to the success of Rio Plus 20. Thank you. Muito obrigado.